the French debate, man. We're playing hockey. It's the fucking playoffs. You know? That's how I do it. What's going on? Yes, miss. What do I think youth can do? How do we get youth engaged in politics? I gotta be honest with you, I'm not really, and I, I say this with respect, I don't really worry about when youth don't vote. The youth to me, like, everybody talks about the youth vote, but to me that's taking the attention off the real issue, which is the 30 year olds who don't vote. Like, to me, if you're 19, you've got your first big love, your first big breakup, you're leaving high school, you don't know what you want to do for the rest of your life, your parents are pressuring you to do something, you need a job, you see that wall of student debt coming your way, you've got all this shit, you're learning your own body and your own emotions, and you got all this going on, and then you're supposed to understand why those fighter jets are a waste or not a waste of money, right? So if you can wrap your head around that, I'm cool. But if not, if a 21 year old doesn't want to get politically engaged, I can't hate on them. They got a lot going on. And when you're 30, you got to at least know how to compartmentalize an election. So I, I really go after the 30 and 40 year olds who don't vote. 18 year olds, like, you don't want to vote? Fine, don't vote. That's cool. So it's the older ones that I really care about. That's my thing. Yes, ma'am? What am I going to run? Never. <laughs> I have so much shit to hide. I have so much. <laughs> and I wouldn't hide it. I would admit to all of it. It would embarrass my mother. It would be no way, man. <laughs> I couldn't pick a party to run for. That's the truth. I'm not, I, I can't pick one party, so I'd never run for them. Run as independent, have one seat, and just yell. <laughs> hey, George. Yes. Hi, hi, Kurt. Hi, Kurt. Hi. hi. I'm just wondering what new band you're most excited about right now. What new band I'm most excited yeah. about? A band called Soons. Um, they're not new, new, but a band called from here called Black Mountain and subsequently Pink Mountain Tops. Love them. Um, what else do I love? There's a, a, a rapper from LA called Bus Driver. I really like. But I truthfully, honestly, I mostly just listen to Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. <laughs> and ZZ Top. And I listen to a lot of ZZ Top because as I get older, the more I like to connect to ZZ Top. Um, I like, I, like, I like the classic. Right now, I love new music, but I really love stuff that's lasted 10, 15, 20 years. Right? It's a test of time shit. That's what I like. Yes, miss? Oh, I've never made it. That's the trick. <laughs> this is a fluke. Like, this is a fluke. TV's a fluke for me. The job's a fluke. This, the success of the show is a lot of people worked really hard. But the trick to this, the trick to this job, honestly, is you can only do half the work. Like, you have to put all your effort into every, everything you've got into this career, but all that really is is half of it. The other half is you need the universe to give you breaks. And I don't mean like the secret universe. I mean, you need, <laughs> you need people who don't know you, have no vested interest in you to give you a break. You need 50 to 100 people along your way. Oh, thank you. You need 50 to 100 people along the way who, um, who are just gonna give you a break because they think you got something, you, you know? It's hard, like hard work and all this stuff is legit, but lots of people put a lot of work in and don't get the breaks, right? So the trick to this job is no ego at all. If you're trying to get in this business and people say you need a, you need a little bit of ego, that's not true. A little bit of ego will spoil you. It's like a little bit of poison. You know, it may not kill you, but it'll, it'll fucking ruin the dish. So you go in with no ego at all and you just go and say, I'm gonna do my part. And if it works out, awesome. The other thing that I, uh, that I, how I operate, I have no goals. <laughs> I have no goals. Because if I am, if, if I, it's true, right? This whole in school, oh, you have to have goals. Why? If you have goals, what you do is you focus on doing something. And let's say you want something and after 15 or 20 years, you realize you don't have it. Suddenly you're like, oh, what? Well, I didn't achieve my goals. I failed. No, fuck that. You lived. That's a win. Right? So if you, if you just, that's, I know it sounds stupid, man. This is how I get through this life, okay? <laughs> I don't drink, I need something. So I, I just look at it like, yeah, man, whatever. Like, I honestly just, I, I kind of don't give a shit about anything. You know, I want people to care, I care, I want all that stuff, but ultimately, I'm just, I just gotta be me, right? And I don't worry about any of that other stuff. I used to, but I, I'm gonna shed it. I'm like, well, what's the point? There's no such thing as, a, as anything else, you know? We'll be right back. <laughs>